In this assignment, you are going to learn what tabs are and how to use them in a Google Doc. So a tab is a term that's used for aligning text in a Word document, and it is used to organize text. So when you use a tab, if I were to, um, you can see my blinking cursor there. If I were to hit the tab key on my keyboard, every time I hit tab, it moves my cursor a half inch. So if I wanted to indent the first line of a paragraph, you usually hit tab once because a paragraph is usually indented a half inch. Um, for this example though, we're just going to uh, put some information on our document and we just want it to be spread out more than a half inch. So the first thing we're gonna do is go up to, uh, we're gonna change our line and paragraph spacing. So if you click on format and then go to line and paragraph spacing, it defaults to 1.15. Let's go to double. And now our paper will be double spaced. When you're creating tabs, there are three types of tabs that you can create. Um, a left tab, a center tab, and a right tab. So on the top of your page, you'll see the, the ruler again. And again, if you don't see that, you can click on view and show ruler. But to get a tab to appear, you're going to right click. So let's put our first tab at one inch. You're gonna right click your mouse and then you have the option to add a left tab stop, a center tab stop, or a right tab stop. So let's add a left tab stop. And you wanna do this, if you're gonna do it for the whole document, you need to do it before you have any text, or if you already have text there, you need to click and drag over everything. Because uh, if you're doing it after you have text on your page, it will only do that line if you don't highlight the whole document. So that's our first one. Now, before when I hit the tab key, it moved me a half inch. Now when I hit tab, it moves me the full inch over. So I'm gonna backspace and we'll come back to that in a second. Let's go to three inches now and I'm gonna right click and we're gonna add a center tab stop. If you accidentally put it at the wrong spot, let's say um, right here. So if I click on it with my, my left button, it says 2.56. You can always drag it to where you want it. Also, if you accidentally made, did an extra tab that you don't want to get rid of that tab, you're gonna click on it and just pull it off of the ruler so you can pull it up or down and it will disappear so anytime you accidentally get too many you just need to click and pull them off and they'll disappear the last tab we're going to um, put on our document is going to be at six so let's right click and we'll do we'll add a right tab stop and that's at six and again if you click on those tabs with your left button you can see exactly where they are on your ruler so now with our cursor in this first row let's hit tab one time, it'll move us over an inch, and we'll type left, hit tab again. You'll notice it jumped all the way to the center of the page. And now when we type center, it's center aligning. And I'll show you uh, what that looks like in a second. Hit tab one more time, we're gonna type right. Now when I go back to my tabs, if I click on my left tab, you can see that blue line, it shows where it's lined up. All the text that I type will be, to, uh, will be left aligned there. The center line will go right down through the middle and the right align will be on the right side of the text. Go ahead and hit enter and now we're down to the next row. Hit tab again and let's type left again. Tab, type center and then type right. So we're just gonna repeat this four times. So we'll have four rows of text. So left, center and right. Make sure that you are not using your space bar you should only be using your tab key. All right, so now I can see that all of my left tabs are lined up with at one inch. All my centers are center aligned at three inches and all my right text is right aligned at six inches. So if your document looks like this, you may go ahead and turn it in.